If you are looking for skincare products to help you achieve more plump, juicy, and hydrated skin, then this video is for you. I'm Dr. Sam Ellis coming at you from my bathroom today, and I'm a board certified dermatologist in Northern California. I'm here to help you understand your skin and find products that work for you. So if that sounds good, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This video is made in partnership with Stylevana, an online platform that I use all the time. I really think of them as a one-stop online shop for the trendiest Asian beauty and skincare items, including all of the products I'm going to mention in the video today. They've also kindly given me a discount code, INF10 Dr. Sam. So that you can get a great discount on your purchase. Just make sure to check the description box for all the details. And with that, I think we can just like hop into the products. If you are a regular on my YouTube channel, you know I'm a huge fan of Korean skincare. I feel like they're always like two steps ahead of the game. And if you're new here, or maybe you haven't tried Korean skincare, allow this to be a nice introduction. One of the things that has always stood out to me about Korean beauty and Korean skincare is this high priority and focus on hydration of the skin. And you'll notice a lot of Korean skincare routines or products are designed to be used in multi-step routines. And it's all about layering, layering layers of hydration so that you can achieve kind of the most plump, bounciest, juiciest skin. And that's not to say you can't achieve beautiful, plump, juicy, hydrated skin without Korean skincare products. You certainly can, but I feel like they make the process a little bit easier. And it's also not to say that you need a multi-step routine, but if you've been using a traditional moisturizer, you're using a retinoid in your routine to give you collagen and help with that bounce, but you're just feeling like your skin is still dehydrated or it looks dull, then adding these subtle layers of hydration, especially found in Korean skincare, I think you will find to be very beneficial. Okay, let's start off with the first product, the Tear Tear Milk Skin Toner. As you can tell, I have been really loving this this winter and I've been using it every single day and night and I'm only this far down. So a little bit of this goes a very long way. Traditionally, toners are sort of used as an additional cleansing step after cleansing. I wouldn't consider this toner to be of that category. To me, this is like a very nice skin balancing product. It has things like niacinamide and licorice root extract. They're going to help with things like brightening of the skin as well as rice bran extract, which gives it sort of that like milky texture to it. But it's such a beautiful, almost like water weight, but if they're calling it a milk, maybe like skim milk weight texture. And you can just kind of rub it in your hands and then press it into the skin. And like immediately you're going to feel that hydration starting to build on your skin. And I love that this is hydrating, but then it also has those additional ingredients to help kind of brighten the skin. So anytime you can get like additional stuff going on in your skincare besides the main hydrating properties, to me, that's just like bonus points. This also has chamomile and panthenol and elantoin, all things that help soothe the skin. So if you're dealing with like irritated skin or dry skin that's flaky or tender, having something like a soothing toner in your routine can really help build back that skin barrier and support it. Also, just to speak to like the aesthetics of the bottle, because I'm like looking at skincare from the packaging all the way to the formula, to the application, all of that. But I just love this. It's like a nice glass bottle. It looks gorgeous, like sitting on my vanity. I want to reach for it. And I always am down for skincare that inspires you to use it. And to me, gorgeous packaging is part of that. So again, that's a toner. It would sort of be the first thing you would put on your skin after cleansing. Now, the next two products I'm gonna talk about are essences. And we don't really have essences in traditional American skincare, but I like to think of an essence in Korean skincare as really a moisturizing step. It's often a very thin, liquidy product that you are using to build more hydration within the skin and prepare your skin for whatever else you're gonna put on it, whether that's serums or other hydrating products like moisturizers, etc. And the first product I'm gonna talk about is one that just holds such a special place in my heart. It's got a really long name. It's the Numbuzzin Number no. 3 Radiance Glowing Jumbo Essence Pad. And this might look familiar to you because if you've seen some of my other YouTube videos, you know I'm obsessed with this essence that comes in a traditional bottle, but 
I didn't know that they had it in pad form until recently. And to me, this is like such a game changer. So first off, I just love this formula. It has 50 fermented ingredients and fermented ingredients are something that are more popular in Korea, but are making their way over to the United States. And they have this amazing ability to help with brightening of the skin as well as hydration, but through different mechanisms of action than maybe traditional ingredients that we see in American skincare. So they are very special to me and I find them to be very gentle on my skin. So for someone like me who has more sensitive skin, who has rosacea, fermented ingredients just tend to play very nice on my skin. This product in one of these two formats has been in my skincare routine basically for over a year now. And it's just something that when I like forget it on vacation, I really miss it. And that's where like the pads were a game changer to me because I found this kind of big and bulky to pack, but the pads are amazing because you can pack them individually or in like a little Ziploc bag, but they're also massive, which is super cool because you don't just have to use it on your face. You can like slide it over your neck. I'll show you like so cute. So there's little pads in there. And I mean, it's all about the little things, right? Like this little tweezer so you can go in and like grab a pad. And these pads are saturated. There's a lot of juice here. So I feel like, this is definitely for more than just your face. But yeah, when I use these, I just feel like my skin is bouncy. It's more radiant. It feels better under makeup. I don't find that my skin dries out as much over the course of the day, especially if I'm exposed to dry air or indoor heating. So I'm obsessed. I should mention this does have a scent to it. I don't think it has any artificial fragrance in it, but there are some natural fragrances in here. So if you're sensitive to that, then this might not be the one for you. But if you're not sensitive to that, these are just, incredible. I do have another moisturizing pad option for you because not everyone likes fermented stuff. And that is the Anua Birch Moisture Boosting Pad. So this actually has similar packaging that, I don't know, I like can't get enough of it with the little tweezers in there to scoop out the pads. So cool, but you just grab one of these and you wipe it over your face. This has their ABC complex, which is a lantoin, betaine, and cucumber extract. So that's going to help with hydration and moisturization as well as soothing the skin. I don't know what it is about the Korean pads, but I just find them to be so delicate and they just feel so nourishing when I'm applying them. Like I'm not usually reaching for pads or masks or things like that with my American skincare, it just doesn't appeal to me. But when I use Korean skincare, like I'm all about it. I should also mention those pads are super juicy. Like there's a lot of liquid on them. So you can take one pad and use it to do like your neck, your chest, your decollete, your forearms, anywhere where you want that extra hydration and moisture boost. I find so many people that I talk to, whether it's my patients or a friend or someone I meet at like a cocktail party, for example, when they're talking to me about their skin, a huge complaint that they have is that their skin just doesn't like maintain or retain moisture. They feel like they do their moisturizer and they move on and then their skin feels dry or cracked. And I feel like if that is you, try building in these layers of hydration, these nice toners or essences. I'm not saying that everyone needs them, but if you are missing something in your routine to give you that extra hydration boost to really make your moisturizer work better for you, these are totally worth a shot. But speaking of moisturizers, I do want to talk about a couple of them because of course, having a good moisturizer is going to be so key in having that plump, juicy, hydrated skin. And even though there are so many moisturizers out there on the market, I still think that I personally and so many people out there are still looking for that perfect moisturizer for them that does all the things they want it to do. So I'm giving you options. So first up is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice 10 Hyaluronic Acid Cream. It's a little bit of a mouthful, but this is such a gorgeous lightweight cream that is still so nourishing. Like, look at that texture. Like that is so delicious. It's almost like if an essence and a moisturizer had a baby, it's this. And I feel like so many times when people are looking for hydration, moisture, and they're looking for really thick, heavy creams because they think that's what they need to lock everything in. And sometimes that is the case, but sometimes you can use a beautiful lightweight gel cream and achieve the same thing. This cream is so lightweight, which I think makes it extra lovely, especially if you have oily skin and you're really looking for something to help draw that hydration and plumpness to the skin because you can have oily skin that is still dehydrated. So skin that still lacks water, even though it has plenty of oil. And I find that these lighter gel cream formulations tend to just look and feel better on the skin. So this is a nice option for you. Now, in contrast, if you are looking for something a little bit thicker, richer, maybe feels a little bit more 
Mm, luxurious isn't the right word because I also think that Haru Haru Wonder Cream is, feels luxurious in its own way, but this is definitely more dense. It's the Cellamax Dual Barrier Skin Wearable Cream designed for dry and sensitive skin. And just in contrast, I can show you this texture here. So much thicker. And when you rub it in, it just has that like gorgeous velvety texture. Mm, that is so lovely. And this really has all of the like heavy hitters of a richer moisturizer. It has five different ceramides in it. It has cholesterol to help support the skin barrier. It has panthenol. It's also been tested to provide the skin with 72 hours of moisturization. So if you have dry, desert-like skin, then this is the moisturizer for you. And you know, I pretty much never do a skincare video without talking a little bit about sunscreen. So I do have some sunscreen options for you. When it comes to having hydrated, moisturized, glowy, bouncy skin, of course we want to be protecting the collagen in our skin with things like sunscreen, but also the sunscreen itself can have its own unique properties to make our skin look and feel its best in the moment. So I picked a couple. First up from Dr. Kira Cole, we have the Hayao Ryuth Moist Sun SPF 50 PA++++. Plus. So this has very high UVA and UVB protection, which of course, very essential in a good sunscreen, but I thought the texture was a bit unique. Also, I don't know, maybe I'm just into these tips right now, but I feel like I don't see a ton of more gel-like or serum-like sunscreens, and this one really has that light, serum-y texture that just blends so easily and effortlessly into the skin. And I feel like sometimes people who have drier skin are just like looking for a sunscreen that just like goes in. They're not having to like work it and massage it into the skin. And then that gel kind of has a beautiful soothing or cooling effect on the skin and leaves this really beautiful, lightweight, radiant finish. As a reminder, if you haven't used Asian or European sunscreens before, they can use UV filters that we don't have access to in the United States. So a lot of the reason these formulas can be so beautiful and luxurious and elegant is because the UV filters that they have access to just feel and look a whole lot better on the skin. So if you're looking at the ingredient lists on some of these and you're like, hmm, I don't really recognize that compared to what I find in my American sunscreens, it's because Maybe you don't recognize it. It's a totally new UV filter that you may not be familiar with. I do wanna mention this does have fragrance. I'm usually not a big fragrance person in skincare, but I find that in Korean skincare, a lot of the fragrances just feel a little bit more toned down or not as grandma-like. Sorry, grandma's out there. Like this is a floral scent, but it feels like an elevated floral. It doesn't feel like you just walked into a perfume shop or something like that. So I really like the scent of this and it doesn't bother me at all. But again, if you're not all about the fragrances, you just want you to know. And the final sunscreen and final product that I wanna talk about is by Round Lab. It's their Birch Moisturizing Sunscreen SPF 50 PA++++. If you have been on TikTok at all, maybe in the last year, you may have already heard of this because it has got all the hype going for it. And this is just like a really beautiful, moisturizing, lightweight, easy to rub in sunscreen that is great for sensitive skin. So this has some birch extracts in it. Birch is known for having natural moisturizing factors, so something that's gonna help hydrate the skin and support the skin barrier. But I mean, like, look at that rub-in. So effortless. Big fan of this sunscreen. If you've used like the Beauty of Chosan, for example, I find this to be somewhat similar to that, but each one of these formulas has something that make them a little bit special or unique. So if you wanna try this, I feel like you would not miss on adding this to your sunscreen repertoire. So so those are some of my favorite Korean skincare products to help you just achieve that next level skin hydration, bounce, juiciness, suppleness, something where someone looks at your skin or you look at your own skin because your opinion matters the most and you just go, dang, my skin looks so good today. And I'm curious, have you tried any of these products? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for being here. I love having you as part of my channel. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.